Hi guys, uh, I was struggling to get my uh, local .NET, doc, .NET application running on a Docker through Plesk. So I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial on how I fix this. So what I've done is in my uh, Docker file for the project, this is my current build. I don't need these exposed except for port 80 and I've disabled HTTPS redirect on here so any uh, HTTPS uh, redirection has been disabled because I was getting some uh, issues with the port mapping on uh, Plesk so what I've done is built the docker file and what I normally do is run um, this command here to build an image once it's built, I then export it using this command here, which then provides me with a tar file. So I then upload it to my server. I then go into my um, uh, the root account of my server, and I run docker load hyphen i output of uh, well, the file name for the tar and what we'll do is load this in the Plesk in, sorry the docker interface so if I go to my docker catalog at localhost uh, you'll see that I've got um, this running uh, currently so if I stop this for now um, and go to settings what I can do is assign uh, oh, this is wrong server so this is the one so you see that these are the old mappings that I've had uh, you just need this one the 80 and this is my current setting uh, for the .NET as it came I've put 800 you don't need that much uh, especially if you're building a very small API what you then do is make sure you got your you disable the automatic port mapping so you can assign a value to your port 80. Now you go back to overview. Um, I normally would just click recreate so that it um, reloads the latest um, file uh, image into your Docker. And once you click start then what you will do is let's say you've got a new API here um, so what I did was if you go to your website domains and then you go to your um, subdomain that you've set up and you click docker proxy rules and then you create add rule uh, which I've done here and for the main file itself, so the main subdomain, I've just selected a port uh, that I have, AT232775, which creates a proxy to this um, URL. Now, in terms of SSL, I'm using the free um, SSL certificate that you can get. Uh, I believe it's called, what is it called? Let's encrypt. So I've set this up, and what this does is gives you the encryption to the HTTP. Um, once I've, I've set up, I'll then um, go to navigate to my API, and all I've got to do is uh, run it, and it's there running in the background. Uh, this has helped me quite a lot um, in building APIs uh, quickly on Docker and hosting them there. Um, I find it a lot easier to uh, shift um, packages quickly rather than using the .NET interface uh, to host on Plesk. Let me know if you have any other questions, I'll be happy to answer them.